I'm Jim with Rock Dog Enterprises. I have a question for you. How come I can remote start my truck from anywhere on earth, but I have no idea that my well is down until my grass is dead? And how come the water always shuts off when I'm all lathered up, ready to rinse? We live in the 21st century, but nobody has put together a system that uses the technology that we see in other industries. Well, that ends today. Just wait till you see what we can do with the Night Owl monitoring and control system. I designed the system to show you everything you might possibly want to know about your water system. Let's take a look at the dashboard. Here is the dashboard. Up at the top, you see the name of the system. And if you have more than one system, you can click here for a listing or even look at a map view of all the systems that you own. The first thing that we see is the pump power data. For each pump that you have, you can see the conditions that your pump saw the last time that it ran. And if the amps or volts were too high, then this would be red. And if they were too low, they would be yellow. This works for any type of power supply from single phase 110 volt pumps all the way up to big commercial 460 volt three phase systems. Down below each pump, we have some details about the run times and the start counts. But if you click here on this gear icon, it brings you to a new page that gives you a more in-depth look. You have your run times and your start counts up here at the top, and then you have your live power monitoring. This is your conditions in real time. Below, we have the power monitor history. This shows you the volts, amps, and hertz of the power supply every minute. You can go up to the top and choose to see the data up to 30 days. You can also zoom in on a section to get a clearer view and even remove some items to just focus in on what you want to see. If you hover over any one spot, it shows you the conditions at that moment. To go back to the full data, just double click on the graph and it'll go back to the original time frame. If you want to export this data, just click right here. I want to stop right there. Some of you may not realize how important this information is. Lately, manufacturers have been denying warranty on equipment, stating that the power was either too high or too low. Well, if it's out of its normal range, we're going to see that and we can make adjustments so that your equipment lasts longer. But if you do have a warranty claim and your power was in its normal range, we can show that to the manufacturer, probably get your equipment covered under the warranty. If you scroll down below the power monitor history, you'll see the pump status history. This shows you the daily run times and start counts but it also shows you the water levels that are associated with this pump. In this case, we see the water level in the well and the water level in the storage tank that it fills. Every pump will have the water level source and destination in this area. If you go back to the main page, down below the pump power data, we have some information about water levels. We start out with the water level in the well in real time, and then to the right, we have a graph that shows you the water level over the last week. You can zoom in on a certain area to get better details. Double click it to go back to one week of data. Next to that, we have the water levels in the storage tanks and chemical feed tanks. We can monitor as many tanks as you want in real time. We can even send you alerts if they get low. More on that in just a bit. Here we see the water pressure in the lines. I have two pressurized systems, so each one has a gauge. You can even monitor the pressure before and after your filter, so you know when the filter needs to be changed. Some of you are operating public water systems, and you might be required to maintain a certain water pressure in your lines at all times. Well, with this system, you can monitor that every minute and even show proof that you did maintain the pressure. I'll show you how in just a minute. Next, we have the temperature in the pump room. Now you don't have to worry about how cold it is in your pump room. Set an alarm to tell you when you get down near freezing and don't worry about it anymore. And if you're one of those customers with a big VFD that you have to keep cool, this will be very important to you. You can also add a water meter to your site. I don't have one on this site, but if we go to another site, you can see the water meter in action. Here we have the current demand and the daily and monthly total usage. Down below this, I'll show you where you can see the historical data on your water flow. While we're on this site, I wanna show you that you can operate valves remotely. 
With this relay control, you can go in and open and close valves. Maybe you have a leak in your distribution system and you want to shut the water off. Now you can do that remotely. Let's go back to my house site and let's jump into the relay control section. Here you can see that I have two relays on my system. At the top, you see that both relays are set to auto. This means that the power is on to both pumps. I can click here to disable a pump. Once I click confirm, the controller will get a signal to terminate the power to that pump. Within a few seconds, the condition turns to red and shows that the power is disabled. If I go back to the main page, you can see that the voltage on that pump is now zero. About 10 seconds later, I get an alert by text and email that my power is too low on that pump. This is a pump man's best friend. Many of the high-tech controllers we have these days need to be reset to clear a fault condition. The way that we do that is turn the power off for a few minutes and that clears any faults. Now we can do that from our office and save you the expense of a service call. Down below the relays, we see a bunch of data. This is all of the sensor data in one place. You can go up here to the top and choose the time frame that you want to see or just highlight on a certain section. Down at the bottom, we're listing all of the different sensors. By putting them all together, we can really zoom in and see what's going on when certain activities occur. For instance, my irrigation system ran the other night. How did my raw water system handle that demand? Well, let's turn off the treated water storage tank level, the treated pressure, the chemical tank level, and the temperature. We're left with just three things. The brown is the water pressure, the purple is the feet of water above my well pump, and the red is the water level in my storage tank. You can see my irrigation zone kicked on last night about 11.45 at night, and that set of zones ran until about 1.45 in the morning. At that point, the irrigation system was done for the night, and the storage tank recovered as the well kept filling it, and it got the tank full about 3.15 in the morning. Now with the well pump cut off, and you can see the purple there, that's the water level in the well, you can see the well recovered immediately. It's pretty cool to see all of this data in one place. And if you have a problem, you can pinpoint that right away. Next, we have the start counts for each pump. You may not realize how important this is, but you don't want your pump starting too many times. Depending on the type of pump you have, this can greatly affect the life of your pump. So we wanna monitor this and alert us if there's something that's out of the recommended range. We want your pump to last as long as it can. Down below the start count, we see the alarms. The alarm we see here is the alarm we created when we turned off the power to that pump. The alarm will only come once so it doesn't bug you every minute that something is wrong. It won't come back on until you acknowledge the alarm and clear it out. If we click on the gear icon here, you can see that we can set up any alarm for any condition. If the value is too high or too low, we will let you know right away. These alarms are sent out by email and text to as many people as you want. You can notify your pump installer, your property manager, or anybody else that you want to alert. One of the cool features of this system is the monthly report. You're going to get a report emailed to you every month that shows how your water system performed over the last month. We start out with the water levels in the well, and down below that we have your daily start counts and your daily run times. Down below that we have your power usage. This is how much your water system used and power each month, and we're showing you 12 months of data so that you can compare. And if you multiply your kilowatt hours times your rate that you pay, you can pretty much estimate how much your water system is costing you. Down below that, you have all the alarms that your system has generated during the last month. Next, you have a link to the installer's website. And the last thing is a video that shows you how you can navigate and understand your dashboard. The system uses industrial gateways that are connected to the SPI cloud platform over cellular networks. It utilizes private dynamic IP addresses that means they are not reachable from the internet and are more secure than a standard 4G point. The data in transit is encrypted with two-way TLS certificates, ensuring the highest standard of privacy and encryption.
Basically, your data is secure and no one is going to look in on it unless you want them to. That's the Night Owl system. Each site is meticulously tailored to oversee and manage the components of your water system. Now you can see why we're truly enthusiastic about this innovative product. We've priced this system from entry level all the way up to comprehensive monitoring, ensuring there's a system that fits with your budget and monitoring needs. Thank you for taking the time to learn about the Night Owl system. We think it's a game changer for our industry and we stand ready to answer any questions you may have. So give us a call today.